Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's a sunny day today, but it's also pretty cold. <laughs> and it's snowing a little bit, so yeah, that's fun. But we're out here today because I wanted to talk about a problem that happens in the summer. Now, it's not going to happen in the winter. Yeah, that's Loki hanging out. The problem's not going to happen in our winters, and I'm going to warn you in advance, there might be some images I put up that you find kind of ick. Slate's in there. And the reason for me saying that is because I'm going to talk about flies. Flies are actually really dangerous to your rabbits. If you're lucky, <laughs> and I say that with a chuckle, because if you're lucky, you might live in an area like I do. See all this snow? We don't have flies in the winter. For six months, it is impossible for flies to exist. Okay? It's impossible. See? Not possible. But in the summer, they're hot and it's hot and humid and yeah, there's flies. <laughs> of course there's flies. Flies happen and they'll happen quickly and they're dangerous. Now, Flies, I'm just sneaking into this pen so I can go see Slate, but flies are attracted to the manure and the urine of your bunnies. There's a cat going in there. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Hi, Gwen. <laughs> so flies are attracted to urine and uh, poop. So you see the poops? If this was summer, I'd have to scoop all this out of here right away. Okay? You'll go from no flies at all to so many flies it's insane. So prepare in advance. Control flies early on. There's Slate in there. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. There's cats over here. Another rabbit over there. But um, you want to get ready to deal with flies right away. You want to know you're going to have to deal with them before you have to actually deal with them. Ha. Cat. So flies aren't just annoying. I'm not saying this because I don't like flies. I don't like flies. But that has nothing to do with why I need to make this video. Flies are dangerous to your buns. They're actually dangerous to all your animals. You could have a problem with fly strike with any animal. Loki's in there. Okay. There are two, if there are too many flies, they are going to spread disease. I don't know where the other rabbit went. Bunnies. So if you have too many, hi guys, too many flies, your, your rabbits are going to get sick. Okay. Worse yet, they're going to get fly strike. Okay. Fly strike is horrible. Sorry for the jerky start to the video. I was checking on the rabbits. But fly strike is horrible. It's also very simple and really, really gross. I'm going to put up an image. It's gross. Okay. <laughs> so what happens is a fly lays eggs, eggs on a rabbit, usually near their butt. And then the larvae hatch. And they start eating the flesh of the rabbit to sustain themselves. It's really, really gross. <laughs> It's like disgusting. If you've ever seen it, it's gross. It's also difficult to treat. A lot of times it is fatal. In fact, in many, many cases, you absolutely cannot treat fly strike. A lot of cases that your rabbit's gonna die if he gets fly strike. All right, so kind of important to deal with fly strike when it happens and prevent it if you can. It's better to prevent it than have to deal with it. So there's several things you can do to minimize the flies that you might have to deal with. Okay, the first is keep your rabbits and their houses clean. Don't allow manure to pile up in the summer. I mean, in the winter, yeah, she's got her little corner. There's poop here that I haven't cleaned up. I'm going to. But in the winter, it's less of an issue. You don't have to do it right now. In the summer, yeah, you have to because they're gonna die if you don't. So, <laughs> it's true. Your rabbits can die from you not cleaning up because they'll get fly strike. So, remove the poop, rake it down, sprinkle it with a barn lime or even a diamantaceous earth. <coughs> Sorry. 
Uh, remove the manure to a compost pile and rake it through the pile so it gets mixed in. Worms and other critters that are living in your compost pile will break it down. So you can do that. Absolutely. Oh, Mr. Otterton's in there. I see him. I see Mr. Otterton. Couldn't find him, but he's fine. I see him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway. Don't worry about it. Uh, if your manure is kept close to the rabbits, uh, you might... I don't like doing that. I really recommend that you not do that. I recommend that you keep your manure far away from your rabbits. But if you do have to keep it close to your rabbits, consider either raising red worms in the manure or adding something to the manure to deter the flies. Do something. Um, you have to do something. If you do use red worms, uh, you want to add barn lime or diametaceous earth, uh, DE they call it, to your manure to help reduce the amount of flies it'll produce anyway. Both of these powders work and they both have to be kept dry. So if your barn lime gets all wet, uh, it's not going to help you. They work in the same way. Flies don't like them. Okay? Flies just simply don't like them. So if you sprinkle this in with your manure, the manure will dry out faster, reducing the smell and making it not a great area for flies to lay eggs. The eggs that are there will dry out and die instead of hatch, as will a lot of the adults. Hi, buddy. Hi. So basically, you're just wanting to deter the flies and make sure they can't hatch if they did lay eggs. Loki's still in her house. That's Loki's den. It's getting bigger because there's more cats joining her. Anyway. <laughs> So don't sprinkle the powders, though, right in the rabbits' faces. That's not a good idea. Okay? Not a good plan. You don't want to put it in their faces. So that's fine. Don't do it in their faces. There's weird, weird cat stuff happening over there. Never mind. So don't sprinkle the barn lime or the DE right in their faces. It's not good for anyone to breathe in too much of that stuff, even humans, because it's, it's just kind of irritate, irritating to your mucous membranes. So... Check the products you're buying carefully. Don't throw them in the face. Uh, if you're using lime, you want barn or horticultural lime, not hydrated. Hydrated lime is really, really toxic. Should not be used near any animals. If you're purchasing DE, you want food grade. It's higher quality and won't have the toxic materials that can kill your animals. Okay, either way, no matter which one you're using, don't use it directly on the animals. It's not a good plan. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> uh, there are other ways to de deter, deter flies. I can't even talk. It's actually really cold out here. There's other ways to deter flies. I hate most of them. Fly traps work. They smell. Fly paper works, but it gets dusty and useless, and you have to change it all the time. That's annoying. Uh, there are chemical options, but you shouldn't use those around your rabbits. You can try hanging vanilla-scented car air fresheners. I use those. Um, I do use those. Actually, you can still see a couple ones from the summer hanging on the coops over there. They do help deter flies. So you can use that. They're cheap. They won't kill the flies, but they will help cut down on the number of flies you're experiencing. Only use those if you're also using another method to deter flies. Okay, you don't want that to be your only method of deterring flies. Um, or they won't help. Get the flies under control early and quickly. Yes, guys. Yes, okay, you can come through the gate if you want, Damon. But get them under control early and quickly. Hey, Mr. Otterton came out of his house. There he is. You probably can't see him. I can see him. <laughs> so get the flies under control early and quickly because they suck. I'm not kidding. The flies suck. You do not want to get stuck with fly strike. It's horrible. So protect your rabbits. Get those flies under control. Keep them under control. I don't have that problem in the winter. In the winter, we can relax and deal with the fact that it's freaking cold. Why is it so cold right now? But we don't have that problem <laughs> in the winter. We do have it in the summer. So either way, you're going to have to deal with flies. Unless you live so... In such an environment where you don't have any flies, which is unlikely, but you never know. <laughs> so that's about it for us here at Anderson Acres. Keep those flies under control. All of your animals will thank you for it. Your rabbits will thank you. Your chickens will thank you because anyone can get fly strike. Anyone. Excuse me, cats. 
So keep those flies under control. Do what you can to, hi, do what you can to keep your rabbits healthy and happy because that's actually really important. They are your responsibility. So that's about it for us here at Anderson Acres today. Hopefully it'll warm up tomorrow and we can come back out and it won't suck. <laughs> See you tomorrow.